What's up guys, Nucleators here. I have just finally come up to get a um like a new tutorial for you guys, a uh effect I've been hoping to show you guys. I haven't seen anyone in my lifetime ever use this effect. And um you've seen it in one of my last edits and uh, I'll show you quickly now just to remind you guys what it is. So as you guys saw there, it's this cool sort of like a bouncing ball sort of effect where all these balls start bouncing out and all of a sudden come back together to make one full screen with the next clip on it. So um, I've already got this comp set up here with um, the clip and then it fades off onto the next clip. So what you want to do, you just want to have your top clip, have that fade down into your second clip as you see there. And I will maybe, I don't know, I'll show you guys the screen pumps that are in there because it show it's the best with screen pumps. Well, looks the best because it looks like all the balls are bouncing up and down. So um, what you want to do is you want to make a new adjustment layer. Come over to here. Transform. There we go, distort, transform. Um, right, what are your amplitude? Alright, um, if you guys want to see a full tutorial on how to get the audio amplitude and all that, um, what you want, you guys will have to do is uh, go down to my recent video. I'll put it in the description. It says um, three tutorials in one. Uh, go over the head that. As soon as I get 15 likes on that, I'm going to do a full tutorial on that. Complete like everything on how to use that. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to get the scale. And alt on the um on your keyboard, click on the stopwatch to bring up the expression linear bracket pick whip to the slider uh comma now I think I did th no fifty five comma seventy five comma one hundred comma one thirty five Alright, so, um, what, what's going on is with this girl, I'll see if it let me show, yeah, see this? This is what's happening. And, um, as you can see how it says the different units there? Well, how this works is, when there's a kick, uh, I don't think it's worked exactly 100% right, because I haven't added the bass and treble to get high kicks. Um, just a sec, guys, I'll come back and fix that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, Alright, let's just show you fix this. See how it gets maxes about 85 and lows about 13, but about every kick, like drum kick, it's between, you know, it's 55 to 75 range. You don't want to make it too high, because if, because in this screen pump sort of method, um, what happens is if you put the two values too far apart between each other um, the screen will sort of pump up and down like what you set there because the um, there where it says 100 and 135 that scale of 100 and get to the maximum scale of 135 so it gets you your screen pump if you can see there but um, what happens is if you have the two the, the values too far away from each other they'll um, what they'll do is they'll screen pump but they sort of look weird because they're going from all those different points like you can see here like there's ones down here so if I did like 35 to 80 it'd be going so many points it'd be jumping up and down it'd look totally demonted and there's my scope but um what you want to do is so you got those screen pumps going along and you got that fading in but um for the ball effect get rid of that uh, you want to come here to layer Work. Layer, new, adjustment layer. Bring it under your audio amplitude, bring it under your screen pumps so it's on top of your top clip. Bring it back a little bit. Oh god, Facebook. Split it. And split it. Ow. Oh, how do when that happens? Split that so it's just over this sort of bit here. 
I should rename it, but uh, I don't feel like doing that. So, um, I'm going to do, right, you're going to search up on the effect and presets. This is already inbuilt into After Effects. You want to search up CC Ball Action. I know it sounds like a funny name, but it works. But before we start doing anything, you, you realize you drag this on, it gives you all these grid, and that can get quite annoying. So what you want to do, bring it to about the point you want it here, on the adjustment layer, T for opacity, bring it down to zero, not one, zero, keyframe it, bring it a little bit forwards, not heaps, a little bit, 100, and then after it's gone onto the next clip, keyframe it at 100, bring it down to zero. Just so you don't have all those lines through your clip, it just looks horrible. But, um, all right, so what you want to do, come to this first keyframe, once it's up, lined up on the opacity keyframe, come up to the first keyframe scatter at zero, bring it to the start of the fade, so it's sort of in the middle, roughly. Line it up, do this right. Alright, so that's on there. You want to do it to 50, so it's all bounces and balls, and I'm going to have to blur out those names, so no people add her. Good friends from school. And all it's all does, and then you come to the end of the fade. Oh no, you can actually, what you do is you do the start of the fade of the adjustment layer, and then keyframe it back to zero. And what you'll get is it will come up, fade in, bounce up to all the bouncing balls, and comes back. Now, it totally, it really works with uh, screen pumps, because the screen pumps make it look like the floor is bouncing up. And at the end of this video, there will be a full rendered bit um, of what has happened, like what I've um, done. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys need any help on um, help with editing, add me on Skype, Nuclear Edits, like me on Facebook. It'd really help if you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, just gonna tell you guys now. Uh, I will be doing at 100 subscribers. I will be doing the um, setup video, so that will be interesting to do because I don't normally record with a camera sitting there in the drawer. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.